Miss Lindorm, our answering machine is out of order. This is a real live person speaking. <laughs> Phone call for Ashley Payne. Jennifer, I don't suppose it occurred to you to ask who it was on the phone. It's Tom Cruise. He says he'll die if you don't marry him. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny, Jennifer. By the way, Jen, what's new in Chestland, huh? Anything? <laughs> Ashley Payne. I bet she shortened her name from Payne in the Butt. You're just jealous because Ashley has bigger boobs than you do. <laughs> My grandmother says well brought up ladies don't call them that. So what do you call them? Hooters. <laughs> How do you spell vomitorium? What are you writing? A letter home asking them to spring me from this place. Again? You know they want you to be here. Well, maybe they'll feel sorry for me if I enclose last night's dinner. <laughs> Excuse me, I hate to interrupt this meeting of the Doofus Club, but I just heard that some boys from Havenhurst are going to be transferring here. Great, preppies. A bunch of guys whose last name is a third. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. The girls' dorm, it's all coming back to me now. The faint aroma of hairspray and grape bubble gum. Hey, Terry, did you meet Blair? I mean, Miss Warner. Yeah. That's a lovely sweater you're wearing. It has a hole in it. <laughs> Hello, Pippa. Is this your mom? No, Ashley. This is Blair Warner, the new owner. Blair, oh. this is Ashley Payne. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, my father, your banker, told me all about you. Look, here's the deal. You need to be nice to me. I'm glad you pointed that out. Otherwise, it may never have happened. <laughs> yeah, well, you see, Miss Warner, my father just hates it when I'm unhappy, and <laughs> somehow he always seems to find out about it. Ciao. Don't mind Ashley. Even her friends don't like her. <laughs> she has friends? Hello, <laughs> Pippa. Photosynthesis making any sense to you lately? I think that's a hint to go and study. I'll see you later. Might that be a good idea for the rest of you? Well, why don't we sing a medley of inspirational folk songs? <laughs> So, how's it going, Warner? You ready to throw in the old monogram towel yet? Would you mind telling me exactly what it is you have against me? Well, curfew is due in a couple hours, but I think I can give you an overview. Ooh, overview. Three syllables. Very good. Let's not get all bent out of shape about this. Actually, I like you. So why don't you sell the school to someone who knows what he's doing and give me your phone number? Oh, you really know how to pour on the charm, don't you? <laughs> Look, if you don't like my being here, then why don't you just leave? Because I would like to see this school undergo a transition from being what it was to being what it could be. And I think what it could be is better. So do I. Well, good. Let's have dinner. <laughs> Mr. Mitchell, I'm afraid this just isn't going to work out. I'm going to have to ask you to... I have a contract. ...grudgingly cooperate. <laughs> you know, you and I will get along a lot better once we have a new headmaster. You ever get it together enough to find one? I got a memo for you, mister. As of right now, we have a new headmaster. Me. You? Faculty meeting Thursday. Don't be late. 